Welcome friends to my Forspoken guide and today I want to share some tips for beginners with you and I truly believe they will make your start in this wonderful game much easier. And if you find them helpful don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel cause I plan to make a full guide about this game with all its secrets, don't miss it. And let's go, let's start. Before anything else, before even you start your adventure, let's go to settings and here let's go to gameplay balance. And here will be a few options that will really help you. First of them will be spell switching slowdown. When you open your spell selection screen, it will slow the time or even stop it, set it on pause, it will be very useful. Also pay attention to auto evasion, yeah your character can auto dodge enemies attacks. And other third very useful feature will be automatic spell support switching. When you use a support spell, this feature will automatically switch to other support spell when frost on cooldown. This is very very useful. And also don't forget about this tab in the options. But this contains some features that also will be very very useful. Automatic item gathering. You can turn it on. Lock picking. Ah, it will make game too easy, probably not. See for yourself, but there are some things like half chat frequency. Maybe when you play a little, you want to decrease it. Take your time, go through all of these options and pick everything that suits your playstyle. And the second thing you just have to know. In the chapter 3 you will get to see Pal, a huge city. And the thing is, there will be detours, a side quest in this city. And it's very easy to miss one side quest or even them all. Cause you know what, when you progress for example to chapter 4, all detours from the chapter 3 will become unavailable. Especially, especially cat chases. In case of cats, you still will be able to complete all these chases after you complete a main campaign cause there will be achievement for that. Just remember, before you go into the wildness, go around the city, talk with anyone and complete all the tours of this chapter. And by the way, even the simple talk with NPC can give you some experience. So why not? Why not to get that experience? Talk with everyone. And in the tavern you will find an animal bone, some kind of dice and they say it will bring you a lot. Don't forget to throw it, it can give you random bonuses. Especially if you're playing on hard. Never forget to upgrade your items, especially resource bag capacity. It will be very useful. But also don't forget to add new abilities to items you already possess. Like local necklace, it will help you a lot. The world of Asia is full of interesting location and the world is really huge, you will find a lot of different and interesting location. But pay special attention to these monuments cause you know what, they will give you a permanent stat increase bonus. Whoa! Needless to say, that's just must have, we cannot afford ourselves to miss any of these monuments. So visit all of them, everything that give you stat increase. Visit every single pilgrim's refuge, cause you know what, they act like some kind of fast travel points and you will also will be able to craft items, upgrade existing gear and of course rest to restore your health point and later in the game. These points will be very important cause they will give you access to spellcraft library which allow you to select challenges that can improve your abilities. Always have three of these challenges active at the same time but they will take a long time to be completed and will give you really powerful bonuses. If you want a new powerful spells, don't forget to visit founts of blessing and just dive in. And by the way, almost all parkour connected spells will come from these blessing fonts. 
You will be fast like a wind and will jump like a rabbit, crazy rabbit. Don't miss these pools. But how to change my spells if I'm playing from PC? Okay, letter E will open your attackive spells. And letter Q will open your defensive supportive spells. Just roll a mouse, choose any spell you want and cast it. These spells will be extremely helpful. And I love these flowers, they're so powerful. Collect all balm flags you can find, cause you will need it to craft a healing potion. In fact, it will be only ingredient. And this balm is often found in a tall grass and it looks like this. Believe me, during combats you will burn these healing potions very quickly, so it's always a good idea to craft some. Use your cuff scanner, often it will help you to find the secret locations. Some of these locations can be right under your nose, but you know, it's very hard to get here. Oh, we find an old coin. And friends, this old coin is very important, cause later in the game there will be a merchant who can offer you a very, very unique item for these old coins. And only for them, so collect all old coins you can find. The best rewards can be found in locked labyrinths, and they are not on your map, you will have to find them by yourself. It's some kind of mini dungeons and in the end you will have to find a mini boss. Labyrinth is a very tricky place, cause many times it will require you to have a certain spell. And without those spells you will not be able to complete the labyrinth. Especially movement spells, your parkour spells. Luckily there will be always a teleporter that will bring you back into the surface. And the first one can be found not far away from this refuge. You see the capital refuge and here you will find the first locked labyrinth. And actually if you stand near this refuge you can see it. During your adventures you can encounter a creature called Mutant. They will look something like this on the map. And believe me, this creature is extremely powerful. It's some kind of mini boss. Yes, they will give you a pretty good reward, but this is a guide for beginners and beginners will not prevail over this creature. You will have to progress through the story a little bit. and become more powerful, and only then you will be able to defeat the mutants. Avoid them for now. Well adventure, now I think you are ready to begin your adventure in the beautiful world of Fasia. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like it, and of course subscribe to see more interesting guides about Force Pokemon. And I will see you in my next video, so don't be late.